first look at your donuts, you know, quality and creativity really just uh, come alive. Can you tell us about these specific donuts? Yeah, this is actually one of our top sellers. This is our Fruity Pebble Donut. And this is our Oreo, uh, cookies and cream, which is the Oreos with the white icing and cream cheese on top. And we are here with Chef Joshua Dean of Little J's Donuts wow. and More. Back in the background, tell us about this picture, Joshua, please. This is a drawing a friend of mine did for me. He's a drummer for some torn bands, and when everything happened with the pandemic, when we went on lockdown, he wasn't doing shows anymore. So he wound up drawing this for me. It's charcoal and pencil. And uh, that was a grand opening present for him. He uh, showed up with it the day we opened. It was awesome. And that's little Jay? Yes, this is little Jay right here. I tried to get him to come up here, but he's not really a morning person. He's not ready for interviews just yet? <laughs> no, not yet. He's, he's turning forward next month. Congratulations. Thank you. And congratulations on the one year anniversary of little Jay's donuts. Um, yeah, that was a big achievement for us. I was excited. Had your first year. Now we on the number two. <laughs> When uh, it came time for me to open up a shop, when I when I put everything together, I had a business plan set, and um, I didn't know how I was gonna get the money. And my cousin told me about Jetco. I applied with Jetco, which is the Jefferson Parish Development Community. Um, it, it's who you go to because it's hard to go to the banks and get the money to start up a business. That's what Jetco does. They help develop jobs. Their job is to create jobs in Jefferson Parish. So I went with them with my with my business plan and all. Um, Everything worked out for them. I, they did everything they could. It, it's a process now. It, it takes about a year. But they actually financed me to be able to get this money. And um, we was able to make a dream come true and open up. It was amazing. You've turned people into big sweets fans. I mean, oh, yeah. that's how oh, I yeah. felt when I came in. You know, like, <laughs> I, I ate the, the, the purple one with the sprinkles. And, the Homer uh, Simpson. The Homer Simpson? Yeah, that's what that is, the Simpson. That's the one you always see Homer eating on the Simpsons. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> uh, I've been doing the donuts for 26 years now, and this is my very first, my shop. Like, like my dream come true. And it's, I, I would have never expected it to be as good as it started out. I wish I'd have done this years ago, because we, we actually, even though we opened during the pandemic, that's why I made sure we had to drive through, just in case they wasn't allowing the customers to come back into the shop yet. We had to make that modification because I still had to open, like I still had my bills coming in and I wasn't working at the time. See, that's a huge, that, that, that's, that's a big part of everything. But uh, by the time we got to open, um, they lifted some of the restrictions. So we, we were able to have 25% uh, capacity inside the building. And um, the day we opened up, we opened up at five o'clock June 11th and we had a line going around the building. And like the, the neighborhood was excited for the donuts, it was awesome. I actually grew up on the West Bank. I was born and raised in Avondale, but I spent all my summers out here. I, I liked the way Harahan is a close knit community. And then once I had my son, I, this is the perfect kind of neighborhood I would like for him to grow up in. This is a good neighborhood that like, Harahan's different. It's, everybody knows your name here. And that's what I like about the, the close knit up. I, I started, I got a job as a donut fryer uh, 26 years ago. And I fell in love with it. I, I didn't have any cooking experience other than just cooking at home or whatnot. Um, the guy, uh, Terry, taught me how to make donuts. And then I took it from there. Um, being bored in the shop on the slow days, I just started playing around with stuff and mixing the colors. And I, I'm, I like arts and crafts and I like being creative. And I just put that towards the donuts. And over the years, it just took off. Monday, it gets busier as the week goes on. Um, Weekend, Friday, uh, Saturday and Sunday, if you come about 8.30, there'll be a line going out that door. Like, mm -hmm. like you make a good quality donut, they want to come try it. I like it. Well, do -do. I went to the game one day. My dad bought tickets for me and my brothers for all of us to go. And um, I saw all the guys kind of like with their face painted and all that. And, and that's just something that I'm into. I went home and made a mask. Uh, I bought a cheap mask from Party City. Uh, I bought the horns off of eBay, the hair and the goatee is off, my baby blanket my mom saved. I cut it up and braided it, and uh, I made the mask. Hand me that little doll right there, Jessica. The doll, yeah. I made uh, this creature, and it wound up becoming a household name. Right. That, that's a doll somebody made for me. That's Pope Clown. Pope Clown. Yep. Once, I, once my, my mask became known with the voodoo, it kind of became a staple with them. 
and I got to know a lot of the players, a lot of the, the in-house staff and everything. And it's definitely a different perspective of what really goes on in the sports world. Um, but at that same time, I got to travel with the team. You know, I got, I, I, I would put on the internet that I was gonna go to like Tampa and go sit. One of the fans would offer me into their home, like take care of me for the weekend and stuff. I was go, or I'd go stay in the hotel with the player. Like I got the, I got a lot of experiences. A lot of the super fans don't get to do. That helped me hold on to the Pope Clown and incorporated it with my donut shop. Like this is everything that I love into one. And that's that's what Little Jay's is about.